Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ria Saza Spice. In the mood of sharing people great things, like let's go. Choma pel why be magic? Opvik producer. Can you need a man we go get I love you? I swear you need a man we go feel protect you. Girl, I know you lonely, so. Why don't you call me? Why don't you call me, baby? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Every single day, girl, yeah, you know you're running through my mind. Oh. Yeah. Checking out your mother where you carry for my head, oh, baby. I say normally, I'm gonna like, look for in love. No, no. I'm gonna make you very normally. Girl, I know they do like this. I'm sorry, today we're not doing. We're gonna be hearing some of the car bike. I'm Vlogging in this place can be very, very tiring. Anyways, today we're not doing something that is much. I'm not even cooking today. So, today I'm just going to be giving some. Can you even hear me? Because these people, they will not stop making noise. They will not stop passing. Okay, maybe I should increase my volume a bit. So, today. <laughs> so, today we are just going to be talking about the do's and don'ts in the kitchen. Small, small tips that we should know in the kitchen. First, I think everybody should know this. Yeah. Going to wash your hand, like wash your hand in the clean water, 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 whatever. Omitomo, clean water. So after this, I guess the next thing that we should do is, um, if you are working on fruits, you should always rinse your food thoroughly before using it. Always wash it with water. Use one scrub it. You know, fruit are always coming from plants like inside soil or from the tree. You don't know where they have been packaging this from, so you should always rinse them thoroughly to avoid bacteria. Just so you know, if customer come, I'm stopping. I'm gonna pass. Okay, so that's number two. Then number three is whenever you are cooking and you have splits, maybe you know when you are making stew now and everything is going shuku 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 shuku. <laughs> Then you have splash from granite where you're from your palm oil. You should clean it immediately, almost immediately, so you know have uh, permanent stains on your cooking surface. Then number number four, five is counting. Then number four, we have um can I remember again? Yes, your what are they calling the name? Clothes that you use in kitchen, like all these your dish clothes that you use to like take food from fire to wipe your hands to clean place. You should always keep them washed. You should like every time, almost every time, if not every day, at least twice or three hours in, the, in a week. You should always like wash them because of bacteria. So you maybe <laughs> it's even bacteria. <laughs> so and number five if i have not lost count mm -hmm. your sponge you should always clean your sponge regularly and always do not leave them wet they should not be wet you should always be dry so as soon as they are you are done washing your plates you should make sure you squeeze out all the water and leave them and put them in a container i will not advise using a container there are some um there are some Sponge kids that are perforated, yes, you should use those ones that are perforated. So, whatever that is there will drain. But if you use them, you know, this small, small plate, when you even bring it out, the smell and it will, it will not make washing plates irritating for you. Once sponge are wet, washing plates can be irritating. I don't know about you, but for me, it's always very, very irritating. Am I already good enough? <coughs> I am. Okay, so. Then, if possible, you should re replace your sponge regularly. Also, just like you replace your brush every three months. Is it three months? Yes, it three months. So you should always re 
place your sponge to regularly then number six so number six is when you buy canned food always eat them up before using it like your sardine maybe maybe you're boiling water you can just put it clean it up before you put it inside water so you will not be drinking bacteria so you put it on it then you eat it little bit before you eat it or if you are using it to cook for example when you are cooking your fried dress and you are using it some canned corned beef sweet corn sweet corn green peas and all so you can just eat them together when you are cooking your rice or when the rice is almost done so it's not like when people make rice is done you just sprinkle it natural put it on food to together any chemical or whatever that is there then the eat will have cured it so what else are we having on our tip yes i remember one thing when you are frying that should be number seven <laughs> when you are frying, you are using a fry pan to fry something. The conductor of your fry pan should not be facing you directly. Never. No. This thing is weird. This is This is our head. Smooth. So you, the fry pan, sh the conductor of the fry pan should not be facing you because anything can happen. You might want to move and she don't she, psh, hot oil psh, everywhere. Boom. So you should not allow the conductor to be facing you. Another one, almost everybody. Needs to go ever me when you want to like taste your food, like when you should bring out spoon from the food we are cooking, then you'll be like, like this. Now it is. Then after you are done licking again, you still use that same hand again on the food again and drop it back. <laughs> he does not nice at all because you put it in your hands, you lick it, and you are still putting the same spoon on that same hand that you lick saliva, bacteria, and you still drop it back inside the general post that everybody is going to eat for. That is my genuine so next time just bring your spoon out so you can just take a smaller spoon and then scoop from it and delicious. I know most of you say why this tea food you already done eating all the food. I don't want to make this for you too long. I don't want to make it too long. Too long. <laughs> so another thing, always keep children out of the kitchen. So I think I'm going to stop here today because I don't want to bore you guys with a very long video. It's just the beginning of the year. So okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you are here to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Share and don't forget to comment. Comment on what you would like to see next though. Let me know the kind of food you want me to cook next on this channel. Meanwhile, I'm not telling you the secrets. Wait for it in my next video. Bye. Love don't cost a dime. When nobody day, I'm a then I day with me. Oh my baby, she there for me.